Hey everyone and welcome back. So I wanted to do one final pickups video of 2022. Um, I was actually going to do this a little bit earlier uh, in the week, but actually I wanted to wait on uh, one more thing to come in. So it finally came in, so let's just dive right into it. I got a bit, a bit of a mix of things here. So first off, I actually do have two soundtracks uh, that I got in, and these are really, really good. First one from Entrada is uh, a soundtrack to Conan the Destroyer. And there's the front of the CD. And there's the back, and as you can see, it's a multi-disc set. So what's cool about this, which is very similar to their Conan the Barbarian release uh, from a couple of years ago, which I believe is still available as well, is it has both the uh, the full score to the film as well as a remastered version of the original uh, soundtrack album, and it has a couple extra tracks as well. So when they did, uh, I was very excited when they did Conan the Barbarian a couple years ago because I've been wanting like the full score to that for the longest time, and even I think at the time too they even said like they were planning to do. Uh, Conan the Destroyer, but then they, you know, it took a couple years, so it is finally here. Definitely recommend it. And then the other soundtrack, another one I've been waiting a long time for, is a new release of The Godfather. The actual, the other CD soundtrack for The Godfather, I think, literally goes back, I, good lord, I don't even know when. I think it like early 90s maybe or something. So overdue for a remaster. I'm actually really surprised that The Godfather films have not received a sort of re-release um you know remastered version of the soundtrack with all the different video releases and stuff it never happened and then finally from la la land records of course we do have a fantastic new release and there's the front of the cd and there's the back and again it's also a multi-release set a multi-disc release set which has again the full score uh, for this one as well as well uh, i believe the original soundtrack album doesn't it yes as well as some extra bits of music i think some like background music and stuff i mean this thing is complete and one i've waited for for a long time i really really hope they can also do godfather 2 and 3 as well but yeah it took forever to get this uh get a new soundtrack release to the godfather it's almost kind of surprising but it is here finally so both soundtracks i definitely recommend listen to them both like right away as soon as they came in all right so let's dive into the movies so got a couple of uh studio ones and then i'll kind of get into uh, the other ones so first up is a new 4k release uh from lionsgate right i think it's from lionsgate of highlander you can see right there there's a the front and there's the back it looks like it's actually a pretty full release too so it's a director's cut i don't know if it has both cuts or only the director's cut but what was cool because lionsgate doesn't usually do stuff like this it does come with these little like postcards of alternate um, poster designs. You can see there's one, there's a nice image there, and there's a nice one of Connery, and there's that one, and we're back to the beginning, okay. Just a little added bonus, again, Lionsgate doesn't usually do that. So I was kind of happy to see that when I uh, opened up the case. This has actually been pretty cheap too. I'll definitely link it below. I assume, uh, hopefully the uh, Amazon price is still pretty low. Next one, uh, which one should I do first? Let's do, uh, I got the new 4K release of Pulp Fiction, and this is the Steelbook version. And as you see, there's a the front. And there's the, well, actually, there's the back with them. So, sorry, let me pull that off. There's the back of the steelbook right there. And I think, is there an image on the inside? There is an image on the inside. All right, give me one second here. And we have that image right there on the inside. Very, very cool. That's actually a cool steelbook. I'm excited to see this in 4K. Definitely a lot of Tarantino stuff I've been hoping gets, like 4K releases. I've just gotten behind in my movie watching uh, as... Some of you know with the uh, with the new player I got in, um, you know, I had some of the issues, but luckily the replacement is working uh, perfectly, thank goodness. And then, but just some other stuff that has come up uh, during the past week. I literally have not really watched anything outside of just testing out the player a couple different times, but just putting stuff in kind of here and there. I haven't actually watched watch anything, so I'm way behind in my movie watching. All right, let's keep moving. So next up, actually another steelbook, and this is the steelbook of Halloween. Halloween ends and there's a front and there is the back and is there an image on the inside I'm actually not sure there is an image on the inside okay give me one second here and here's the image right there on the inside oh, you can see that okay I don't think it's, it's a little faint but I hopefully you can see that I know there were kind of mixed reactions to Halloween ends definitely 
And I probably share that. It's it's almost like two different movies in one. But I think is I had the other two in seal books as well. So I was like, well, I should probably get the third one to kind of complete the set. But I think there's a trilogy pack as well. You can get all all three of them in just one little package was also uh, probably a better deal if you're looking to get all three. All right, next up, let's keep moving here. So next up is the new one in the Vestron line. That is Silent Night, Deadly Night, the collection, which has three, four, and five. And there's the front of the slipcover. And there is the back. And I think the inside is actually just the same. Uh, now obviously one and two were put out by Screen Factory. So I'm glad Lionsgate actually put out three, four, and five because a lot these have been actually asked for for a long time. And what's cool as well, which I'm actually I was actually really surprised that they did this, um, is each one has its own disc. I mean, I was I was hoping all three were gonna be on one disc, but you know you never know. Uh, but yeah, so three is on its own disc. Four is on its own disc, and five is on its own disc. Very, very happy to see that. And of course, happy to have the next one in the Vesteron line. And next up is the new 4K release of Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. And there's the front of the slipcover, and there is the back, and I think the inside I did flip, right? Yeah, I did. So there's the inside cover right there, and then there's the back right there with all the details. Now, I am, uh, I haven't had a chance to watch this yet. Um, I did see some stuff online and I think people uh, might be sort of misinterpreting this release. Good news, bad news, kind of one of these from, from this. Uh, now, again, I'm saying this without having watched it. So just take this with a grain of salt. But uh, there was some criticism on the way the film looks and everything. But the thing is, to my knowledge, I think the original negative, sadly, is like long gone. And I believe this transfer was done from one of the few existing film prints. Uh, so it's going to look rough. You can make the argument like, well, did it need a 4K release? Eh, maybe not. But, you know, I'm so happy it, it's being preserved in 4K, especially if, you know, we're sort of down to uh, limited options as far as restoration goes, as far as film elements go. But I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, so I'm looking forward to checking it out and seeing the transfer for myself. But I do know going in that... Uh, the transfer was made, uh, to my knowledge, from a film print. And if that's our only option, it's like, well, yeah. I mean, I'm like, I, I'm giving a lot of leeway. Next up is one I'm so happy he came in. To be honest, I was getting a little nervous uh, because it was a crowdfunding one. And that is the new 4K release of Invaders from Mars. The original Invaders from Mars. There's the front of the slipcover. And there's the back, which basically just has a bunch of the information. But it's nice, you know, it comes with a little booklet and some info. Obviously, there's the disc. Uh, there's no Blu-ray with this one. I think it's just a 4K disc. Now, um, so this is, I obviously did the crowdfunding. Now, there is going to be a, a uh, regular release for everyone. If I'm not mistaken, Arrow is putting this out. Now, what I don't know is whether or not the Arrow one is uh, UK only or if Arrow is doing... UK, US, and Canada as well. Uh, not sure yet, or if it's been announced, I've, I've missed it. Um, so, who, but there there will be a regular release coming. So this was not like super limited. It was just a crowdfunding one. You know, means you got it early. And this is uh, the one I was waiting on to come in before I did the pickups video. And because I did do the crowdfunding, I did go with for the option, which did come with this. Let's get it out of here. This poster you can see right here. And yes, it is indeed. I think it's in focus. It is actually autographed. So hopefully you saw that okay. It's uh, autographed by Jimmy Hunt, who played the little kid in the film. So uh, very, very cool. Because I mean, it's probably not someone I was able to, you know, meet most likely. Uh, so it was, it was a nice option that they had. Of course, you know, he's kind of up there in years. So it's like, yeah, I, I didn't want to miss out on that opportunity. And with these crowdfunding endeavors, I know I've been burned a couple times. You know, I was like, I was getting a little nervous because it had been definitely a very long time. Uh, so yeah. And then finally to wrap this up, I actually did uh, get in my Severin order, for the Black Friday one, uh, which actually came in again a little while ago, but I wanted to wait until I had enough stuff to do this pickups video. Uh, so I did get the Argento bundle, which I'm going to cover in just a second, but I actually did get one more movie, which actually I had forgotten because I think it was super cheap. And that's the, the Blu-ray of Overboard, which you can see there's the front of the slip cover, and there's the back. I think the inside's just the same. I was like, I, can't, I actually forgot that I'd, I ordered this because I think it was like super, super cheap. 
You know, it's such a cute film too, and I haven't seen it in a while. All right, so now we get to the Argento bundle. So first up, uh, obviously the bundle came with two pins. So the first one is a Four Flies on Gray Velvet pin, which hopefully you can see uh, okay right there. It's sort of the image from the poster. And then uh, this one of Argento himself, that Hall of Fame pins that they do, which is very, very cool. And it came with his autobiography, which is really nice. Let's see, just get a nice shot of the cover right there. It's actually a good picture of him. And there's the back, you see, from Fat Press. So I think it's got a couple pictures here, kind of thing. Obviously, it's, it's autobiography. This is not a picture book, but, you know, it just does have uh, some nice you know, at least a couple pictures in here. It's mainly text, but there are actually, here's some cool behind the scenes pictures. Let's see if you can kind of see, hopefully you can see that okay. I don't think it's holding the focus. Just some nice, you know, behind the scenes photos. This is a big selling point for me, I know, for uh, definitely kind of going for the bundle. And then we had the two Argento films that were in the bundle. First one is a 4K release of the five days. And there's the front of the slipcover. And there's the back right there and the inside. As you can see there's the front and then there's the back with all the details. And it comes with this, which you can see right there, the picture on the front. But this actually has all the track details for the included uh, soundtrack. And of course, here are the discs. There's a 4K disc. Uh, the Blu-ray, and then here's the CD soundtrack, which I always love it when they can include a soundtrack. And this is an Argento film I have not seen, so I'm actually looking forward to checking it out and being able to check it out in 4K, no less. And then finally, obviously the big one was the new 4K release of Four Flies on Grey Velvet. This is definitely one we've been waiting for uh, for a long time for a really great release. And there is the back of the slipcover right there, and... I did reverse the inside, which you can see right there. There's the original poster artwork. And there is the back with all of the details, much like the other one. So it does come with this little postcard thing, poster there. And then it has on the other side, all the tracks with included soundtrack, which again, very happy was uh, included. So here's the 4K disc. Um, and the Blu-ray and then the soundtrack. No, sorry, Blu-ray, other Blu-ray uh, for with extras. And there we go, there's the soundtrack right there. So happy we finally have this in a proper release and in 4K as well. Um, and I believe that is everything for this pickups video. Um, again, not a ton compared to some of the other ones, but that's okay. You know, things are basically slowing down and I need them to slow down for just a little bit. And I am gonna get to uh, some of the other videos. Um, the main one being my sort of, you know, update, my big update video, which I was hoping to have out before 2022 ended. Don't know if it's going to be, so otherwise it'll be uh, probably the first one of 2023. So at least anything would be a good way to kind of start the year being like, okay, this is everything. Planning for this channel and everything, and there's a lot. I'm actually making a lot of stuff, a lot of, ch uh, not changes, uh, it's a lot more uh, dedication to this channel, definitely in the new year. So I will say happy new year, right out of the gate, just in case I don't get that video up uh, before the end of the year. Oh, and actually I do want to mention real quick that uh, this coming week, the first week of January, of course, is the Vinegar Syndrome subscriber week. So if you want to try and do the subscriber thing next year, you, you have a whole week to sign up for it. It is expensive. I'm even I'm a little panicking a little bit, uh, but I'm going to try and do it for at least for one more year. It is just a lot up front, but they're also going to have, I know some sales on like some older releases and stuff kind of throughout the week. So it's definitely worth checking out. I believe that starts uh, January 1st, at like 12.01, so which basically, technically I believe that means like Saturday night. And so just as a heads up on that. So I wanted to kind of end the year on a pickups video because again, these are actually some of my favorite uh, ones to do. So let me know if you've picked up anything recently. Hopefully you guys had a really good Christmas and got some, uh, some cool stuff. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.